Hello everyone, we will continue the topic menu exit and in the previous videos we implemented the menu exit and in addition to that to write the code we implemented the function module exit also and we activated the project. Now we will see in the debugging mode are we getting a expected output or not. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint where we put the logic. This is the project which we created. I will click on to function module exit. I will put a breakpoint onto my include where I put the logic and I will go to cat2 transaction. I will go to, go to, are we getting a additional menu item? Yes, we have the additional menu item, approve timesheet. Whenever I'm clicking on to approve timesheet, okay, I'll fill the entry first because these are mandatory things. Now I will go for go to, Approve timesheet. Now you can see is our logic is triggering whatever the logic we write. Yes. If I will check the value of psi u comp, you can see we have the function code plus cu6. If you are implementing plus cu7, that if you are going for additional menu item, you can go for plus cu7 and at that time you can write if psi u comp is equal to plus c, c u7. Now I will simply, simply going for call transaction cat4. I'm executing. Is it calling cat4 transaction code? Yes. So this is the way in the SAP menu, we added our own menu item. And on that menu item, we achieve the customer specific functionality. Now we will go for same to same process. We, we studied how to implement or how to achieve a menu exit. Now I will undo all the things, whatever I did. So I will simply, simply do undo all the things so that it should not hamper the system. Others can also practice. So in this include, I wrote the logic. So firstly, I will delete this include. So that logic should also get deleted. I'll go to SC38. I will delete this include. Now to implement it, we created the project. So I will delete that project also. And I told you in the previous videos also, you cannot delete a project directly. Firstly, you have to deactivate the project. Now I'm deactivating the project. Now I will delete the project. So always make a practice whenever you are studying or whenever you are uh, learning these kinds of things, whenever you are dealing with SAP transaction codes or SAP programs, always, always undo the things after learning those topics. So if I will show you CAT2 again, it will be now same to same. If I will show CAT2, you can see now there is no button approve timesheet because we reverted all whatever we did. So that's it in this particular video. So we studied the full menu exit. We studied how to find menu exit, how to implement menu exit. And the most important part we studied in case of menu exit also, if you want some functionality, if you want some, if you want to write some code, we need to implement function module exit. So function module exit is playing a important role in terms of menu exit also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.